Update two on Cyclone Blanche, which is located in the Australian region, just 130 miles away from Darwin. Moving away, though, towards the southwest. At 2 p.m. UTC, March the 5th, the storm had winds of 45 miles an hour with a pressure of 994 millibars. That's a wind speed of around 70 kilometers per hour at 13.4 degrees south, 128.8 degrees east. The storm is expected to move towards the southwest into the Kimberley region of Western Australia. We expect a landfall there in around 12 hours as a tropical storm, and then the storm will move towards the southwest and probably end up somewhere near Derby in around 72 hours, three days from now. There are warnings in effect, and this is where the storm is located right now. Um, 138 miles southwest of Darwin, 160 miles north-northeast of Wyndham, which it could end up at in 12 or 24 hours' time. It's a stage two on the CDPS scale, uh, which means that damage is possible near the center of the storm, but the storm itself is not particularly strong at this time. So what do we expect from its effects as it moves towards the southwest there? You can see passing those small localities along the western coast of Australia and then into land and then moving towards the southwest after landfall on Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, so uh, slow, movement, slow movement after landfall we expect, but until landfall it's going to be potentially pretty fast moving in the next 12 hours. Sea surface temperatures are very warm indeed, 30 or 31 degrees Celsius are the current temperatures, possibly even reaching 32. And just to mention the cyclone warnings in effect for Mitchell Plateau to Dundee Beach, including Wadai, and we also have a cyclone watch in effect from Cockatoo Island to Mitchell Plateau. Um, as you can see, wind shear has been pretty high all along and remains fairly high around the storm right now. That's probably why it's not going to intensify very much. Uh, but let's take a look at the satellite imagery. It's been flaring up with that convection massively. So if anything, it will certainly be a big rain event along the, um, the Northern Territory's top end and in Kimberley. Um, especially in those latest frames, some really high cloud tops extending up there. Uh, but it's been doing that pretty much since day one uh, when we've first been tracking this system. And that's probably not going to end anytime soon. Uh, certainly going to be a rainmaker. Um, and wind speeds could get uh, the, the squalls, of course, possibly up to 50, 50 60 miles per hour gusts. Uh, but sustained winds, we're looking at 45 miles an hour right now. Elsewhere in the tropics, we've got this. Cyclone Inawo, which is a Category 1 hurricane equivalent on the Sefer Simpson hurricane wind scale, with winds of around 75 miles an hour. Uh, that's a significant cyclone that's going to head towards Madagascar, probably going to make landfall there. Could be a major. Uh, so taking a look at 2017 compared so far, we've had five tropical storms and now three category ones. Um, so that's how it compares to the averages from 1960 to 2016. Still a long, long way to go, of course. And uh, um, uh, Blanche made it number eight for 2017 so far, um, which means that we're slowly catching up towards the long-term average for this time of year. We are still very much below average until recently the lowest ace accumulated cyclone energy since 1931 which certainly tells you something as well you can follow force 13's outlets the website force13.com with its tracker at your service you can also find us on youtube subscribe if you haven't already for the latest updates you can also find us on facebook search force 13 all in text and it's at force 13 on twitter if you'd like to get in touch on that platform you can also add Fool13 on Skype, F O O L 13, and add extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat.